it's a great honor and a privilege to introduce Yossi Siegel, a dear patient and good friend for many years. And Yossi, you have a very interesting story. Yeah, this is about a friend of mine who served me in the Israeli army. Uh, he grew up in Poland after the Holocaust. His parents didn't tell him that he was Jewish. He didn't even know what Jew means. So, uh, okay, he was growing up with the Gentiles. He didn't, even, he didn't even look very Jewish. One time in school, he saw the kids chasing some Jewish girl and beating it up. And he joined them. He beat the Jewish girl too, because he thought the Jew is just a bad thing. He didn't even know it was a nationality. So he came home that day and told his mother, 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 we beat the Jewish girl today. And she said, oh no, you're Jewish. He said, no way, because he thought the Jew means a bad thing. So it's like his mother telling him he's a, he's a bad thing. He said, no, no, you're Jewish. Well, to make a long story short, he, they ended up moving to Israel. And um, he still didn't understand, but he said on the boat, there was a Jewish rabbi, and he was really nice to him. So that he became closer to Judaism and he came to Israel, became a normal Israeli, seventh Israeli army with me in the, in the, in the Armour Corps. And uh, that's my story. And you, you've kept a friendship with him? Not after I left the army, no. But in the army you were, you were quite friendly. Yeah, right. And, and you know, he, he, no, the funny thing is, he, he grew up as a non-Jew. He didn't even look Jewish. He looked like a blonde, blue eyes, but he was totally Jewish. Amazing, Yossi. What a story. <laughs> Thank you so much, Yossi. I really appreciate it. Okay. It did come out okay.